Greetings, brothers and sisters. I come to you in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It is Wednesday, the 28th of September, and the time is 12 minutes, uh, 25 minutes after 12 midday. Um, it is the day, the day of the lockdown is day 915. We have just started a new Hebrew year. The year after creation is 5,783. We are in the month of Tishrei, and it is the third day today of this ca of this month of the seventh month on the Hebrew calendar. Um, man, it's so nice to be back. Uh, you know what's happening in the world that the, the enemy is attacking left, right, and center. He's attacking every family. We pray constantly that we have protection against this evil, dark, and evil day. Um, you know, uh, uh, I prayed months ago, I prayed that my, my mom, my dear mom, will make it to see her 80th. It is tomorrow, and the Lord has even granted us. He's, he, the Lord answers prayers, brothers and sisters. He really does answer prayer. And the fact that my mother's still with us is, is just a, a, a monumental uh, event for us, that she gets to see her 80th birthday, and the Lord graced us with her presence and the Lord kept her and kept her with us in the name of Jesus. Um, this is going to bring, this has brought there's so many things that have happened, so many things that the Lord has shown me and revealed to me and the, and the work that I have to do and even I myself have turned and you know hardened my heart towards the Lord because of all this, this, this evil that's come. But I turned, he, he kept me and he turned me back towards him. Brothers and sisters, none of us are immune to the wiles of the devil. And this brings to mind my favorite chapter in the Bible. And uh, the, 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 this is our weapon against the enemy. It is Ephesians 6 verse 12. We have to put on our armor of God in this evil day. We have to have to put on our armor of God. Ephesians 6 and this segment is called, Finally, My Brethren. Ephesians 6, verse 10, we're going to start off with that. This, this chapter is, is very dear to me because the Lord ministered to me. And, he, and, he, and, and um, the, in, the, 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 the weapon of the enemy is uh, division. That's how he uses. And this, uh, 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 <clears throat> Ephesians 6, putting on your armor of God, explains how we should love our neighbors as we love ourselves. That our, our, our warfare, our, our fight is not against each other. It is a deception from the, from the, it is a weapon from the enemy. That we are fighting each other, but we're not, we are fighting him and he's, um, um, he's, 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 is the fact that he remains the kingdom of darkness remains hidden that is how they fight against us that we must fight ourselves and not fight them fight the kingdom of darkness now the kingdom of darkness is so cunning that he hides himself in that darkness and if, and we know that everything in darkness will come to light now this is it brothers and sisters my favorite chapter how the Lord ministered to me that I, how, how I'm able to love my, my neighbors, love my brothers as I love myself. Verse 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins girt with truth. This is your belt. And having the breastplate of righteousness. This is your t-shirt. When you get dressed every day, brothers and sisters, practice this. Because every day you have to put on your armor of God against this evil 
and the, against those evil wiles of the devil, those darts that he throws at you. And your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. This is your shoes that you put on, your gospel, your shoes of the gospel of peace. Above all, take the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to, with, to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. This past few weeks, the, 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 the enemy has thrown this, this fiery darts at, at my family. It's coming left, right and center. But the fact that we are here today, we are, that, that darts mean nothing. It just tripped us up. It tripped me up. It tripped me up to a place that I was in a place of, of, of despair, that I felt helpless. But through Christ, He strengthened me in this dark and, and terrible day. Verse 17, And take the helmet of salvation. Yo, 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 yo. This is where the battle takes place. This is the most important verse. That this is where the battle takes place. It takes place in the mind. And the enemy uses images and he uses television to, to fight you in your mind with this. Because we human beings are actually living in a fictitious world. This fictitious world where they're throwing these images of whatever's happening in the media, whatever's happening in the news, from Russia to the Queen's death to this to that. This is what it's all about, and that's where the enemy, where the battle really takes place in our minds, and that's the that and the enemy knows it that he's going to that is where he's going to fixate himself around that mind. So whether you're living in a in a real world in a dream world, it's up to you what you take in. Because he's going to throw these images, negative images into you so that your battlefield remains weak. But when your battlefield is in the, when your images, when your mind is fixated in the word of God, that is a weak spot for him. He cannot beat this. Because the word of God in the Bible trumps everything and everyone. Amen. Take on the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. This is the sword of the Spirit. Now, when we fight Him in our minds with the sword of the Spirit, that is our weapon, this Bible, because this is truth. He fights us with lies. He's the, in, he's the deceiver of lies. He, he creates these lies. We are all susceptible to this, but when we know truth, Bible truth, nothing goes past us. We will dis be able to discern the truth from lies. That's why the devil wants the, the Bible out of our reach, so that we are not able to perceive lies from truth. Verse 18. Now, this is the most important, important um, weapon that we have at our disposal. Pray. Verse 18. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. And for me the utterance may be given unto me that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in bonds, that therein I may speak boldly 